town of 25,000 inhabitants. A town where nearly everyone's a scientist or hoping to become one. A new town called Akadiem Gorodok, or Academic City. My first impression was that of bewilderment, to be honest. Everything was different here. The houses were right in the middle of the forest. It was so quiet, and the air seemed so fresh. What used to be thought of as a wasteland has turned out to be the Soviet Union's greatest treasure house, a land unbelievably rich in minerals. Geologists thought there was no oil here. Now the whole place seems to be floating on it. There are diamond fields which could be as rich as the South African ones, and gold and platinum too. I worked in Academic City for 46 years, since 1962. I was a research chemist at the Institute of Inorganic Chemistry. And from 1963, I taught my beloved subject, analytical chemistry, at the university there. Since the times of the Tsar, people were exiled to Siberia. Would you exile anyone to a good place? That was the image of Siberia, that wolves ate people there. Our salary was only 10% more than the others, the so-called Siberian supplement. But they did give us apartments immediately, separate apartments. At that time, in the USSR, there was an acute shortage of housing. They didn't attract us with money. They attracted us with available accommodation and interesting work. No other research laboratories are so lavishly equipped, and nowhere else are the students so carefully selected or so ruthlessly examined. This is what's called a colliding beam accelerator, the only one of its kind in the world, designed to hurl particles of matter at particles of antimatter. Our Institute of Nuclear Physics is a globally recognized research center. Its scientists have collaborated in the construction of the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. But many of the inventions and breakthroughs happened in secret research projects for the Ministry of Defense. Passion for mathematics is being cultivated in an unusual school in Academic City. It's a boarding school which each year recruits the ablest boys and girls from the whole of the Soviet Union. The pupils are chosen by a nationwide competition. As many as 10,000 children take part each year. It's a kind of forcing house for geniuses. We would often go to the forest. It was five minutes' walk from our house, so we could put on our skis. Ski tracks were laid, and there was even lighting so that you could ski in the dark. Excellent sports facilities were constructed. The House of Scientists was built. And it had a great theater and concert venue. Of course, the creation of Academic City was a great achievement. A new generation of scientists has been nurtured here. Most people who work in Academic City now are graduates of our university. And what does Russia live on today? Gas and oil, of course. And who found and explored those resources? Our Siberian scientists.